what if i told you your segmentation mold could perform better without retraining just by flipping the image a few times in this video i'll show you how test time augmentation can squeeze out extra performance from your train model and improve pr prediction quality by just adding a few lines of code in your existing test file so our first question is what is test time augmentation it is a technique used during the inference phase that is after your training is done when you do the test it is used to improve the prediction robustness and accuracy unlike data augmentation used during training which helps the model to generalize tta is used during the testing to make better prediction now how does it work first of all we apply multiple augmentation on the input image for example horizontal flipping vertical flipping maybe rotation or other things but you also need to be careful while in this step let's say we have a human face so on a human face you can flip it horizontally but you can't flip it vertically just imagine most of the human face data, data set would contain a simple straight man it would not contain images where a human is upside down his head is down and his legs is above so it would not be like that so you need to be careful while applying this augmentation and they depend upon your data set what kind of data set let's say i have a data set on leaf uh, segmentation so in that case i can apply both horizontal flipping and vertical flipping now in the next step we make a prediction on each of the augmented version of the image using the trained model next we reverse these uh, augmentation that is we unflip the prediction so they align with the original image let's say we have an image we apply a vertical flip on it we pass it to the model and it make a prediction so this prediction would also be vertically flipped we need to unflip it to align it with the original image and also with the ground truth next we combine all the prediction by averaging soft max probabilities then we take the final prediction by using arg max over the average output so now we have uh, average uh, softmax probabilities we simply apply argmax and get the final prediction now the last question why use tta first of all it increases uh, pre prediction accuracy and consistency next it helps to reduce the impact of noises or biases present in the individual input last it is commonly used for image classification object detection and in our case we would be using it for semantic segmentation now let's move on to the coding part now here we are in our code and our model is already trained on a multi class segmentation data set so the data set contain two main classes and a background so these two classes are basically two di di different kind of weed weed 1 or weed 2 here is a sample of the image and now you can easily see in this in this kind of image we can apply both kind of flipping horizontal flipping vertical flipping as it does not affect it would affect it pop up ones now i'll show you some mask so here you can see v1 v2 uh a few sample where it contain both the weeds yeah it can also contain sample which has both the weeds let's leave it let me just go a bit up yeah so th this is about this and i also have a video on the grad cam i have sh shown you how you can visualize the intermediate decoder encoder feature of this train model so you can watch that video the link is in the description now we'll work on that tt but before that we'll what we'll do we'll run the test file to see the test performance so that we can easily measure if there is an improvement in the performance or not so you need to wait a, wait about a minute so i'll pause the video and come back so here the test file is run and we can see the performance of individual class and also the mean okay so this mean is basically of these two class v1 and v2 in the mean we have not included the background because background would always be above 95 it it sometime if you train it more it goes to 99 so I don't care about the background. All I care about is V1 and V2. So here's the mean. So we can indirectly compare the mean first, and then we can see what are the increase in the individual class. 
so what i'll do i'll simply copy paste the entire test code because this is what we need and we're going to make changes in it okay so i won't explain this code this already explained so what i'll do i'll paste my main function here that is tta okay so first of all we have a function called tta simple name and it's going to take the train model and after that a image tensor so next we're going to set model to eval and we're going to create an empty list called predictions here first of all we will have our original image and we're going to predict the segmentation mask on it so here's our original image we pass it to the model we pass the prediction that is these logits via the softmax and then we append them uh, to this prediction so what we do all our softmax probabilities would be inside this list for easiness next we're going to apply a horizontal flipping okay so here first of all we flip the image horizontally then we pass it to the model we have our logits then we pass them via the softmax after that we pass the softmax probabilities uh, via this flipping again so we flip it again to unflip the image to align it with the original as we discussed in the slide and then we append them so here we just apply one uh, 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 augmentation that is horizontal flipping so now what we can do we can average the uh, softmax output and then apply argmax okay. so here what we have done we have uh, calculated the mean or in the, of the predictions then we have uh, pass it via the argmax and then we have finally our prediction so now what we need to do we need to replace uh, the things with this a t t t t a okay so what i need to do i need to copy this or i can simply copy it from my main part ah, my main file so what i need to replace is this prediction part so i need to replace this entire prediction with this okay so now we can run ah we need to make one more changes into it see we have score file because this score file is used by test no test tta so we're going to do test tta because we also save these matrix in a csv file and also we save the predictions in a folder so we also rename the folder to results tta okay so that things don't get messed up now uh, we can have another what 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 is this okay let me delete this out and create a new yeah so i can activate my environment that is pytorch by default it's tensorflow i don't know why so let's run this test tta here we just have only provide one uh, augmentation that is flipping now i'll pause the video and i'll come back again so the test tta file is run now you can see the mean f1 is 0.51 and mean io is 0.46 now let's compare them so you can see a bit improvement here mean is 0.51 and io 45 so we can easily see there's an improvement in performance and also in the individual matrix if you see that it is where mean is higher now you can further increase this performance by adding more uh, argumentation so let's let me add those argumentations also so now we have horizontal flipping what we can do we can add a vertical flipping also and then we can add one more where we flip both horizontal flipping and vertical flipping okay so i'll add that part so here we have vertical flip then we have both horizontal flip and vertical flip i don't think i need more explanation here you easily understand original image horizontal flip vertical flip horizontal plus vertical flip then we average out and get our prediction so now we need to see how this work out so let me again run this test and a score tta and i'll pause the video again and come back
okay so the test file is done now we can initially compare between the first two so here we can see when we add two more uh, augmentation we can initially see a one percent increase in performance here only 0 0.51 0 0.52 simply one percent improve here you can also four six four seven and if i compare it with this can we can simply see a major improvement i think more than 1.6 or 1.7 percent improvement in the performance and that too without doing anything much without training or without this so we can easily see how this test time augmentation helps you to improve your performance okay so that's all about this video i hope you understood what tta now is and how you can use it in your projects and help uh, to improve your performance so if you like this video please share it and subscribe to the channel so thank you have a nice day